back, motherfucker. Hey, boy, you got two pockets. You said everybody in that lake got a little bit of thug in it. Hey, man, don't sleep on me. My boy, the fuck is that? Nigga, you got an automatic toilet flusher or something in this bitch? Yeah, you know I ain't got no money like that. You got someone else in here? No, I ain't got nobody else. But it better not be nobody else up in this motherfucker. We got guns. You ain't got no guns. You niggas ain't strapped. And your lack of awareness is what concerns me. Wait, how long? How'd you get up in here, Mike? Man, this is my house. You forgetful little motherfucker. And didn't I tell you and Angie when y'all moved up in here to keep that goddamn door unlocked? Keep it locked. Somebody could easily jimmy that thing open. Wait, 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 hold on. Who the fuck is you? Bro? No, who the fuck is you, little nigga? Don't get in grown folks' business. Boss baby. I'm so confused right now. You need to not be confused and you need to figure out how you gonna get me my $2,500. You understand me? And what's this out here? Angie. Then moved out. Now who's Angie? It's, just, it's a long story, okay? How the hell you mess that up? You seem like one of them goofy motherfuckers that can't handle a woman of that caliber. You hear me? I told you to get me the little bitch. I keep the bitch. It's, it's, it's a long story, Mike. It's just, it's, can I just... I got time. Spill it, nigga. All right, uh, well, me and Ariel was off to a good start. Mm -hmm. um, then her family stepped in, was like, if you don't break up with him, we're gonna ostracize you. What? That sound like some white people shit. Get out. <laughs> I told you, man. <laughs> Why does everybody think this is funny? Why is it it's not funny? Look here, though, nigga. See, what you need to understand, when you got a woman like that, you need to do everything you can to keep her. I did, Mike. Did you call her perms? Wait, wait, hold on. She got perms? Yes, she got perms. No, I didn't talk to her parents. That's strike one, nigga. Did you break any unethical codes? Somewhat. That's strike two, nigga. Did you lie to the bitch? When didn't you lie? Strike three, nigga. You out. Well, what's that supposed to mean? That means you need to figure out how you gonna get my $2,500. Understand me? $2,500. And why the hell does it smell so funny in this motherfucker? It smells like a silverback gorilla done shit it off up in here. You need to get your shit together. You and this little nigga. Wait, what the fuck? I don't even live here. What about him? Fuck him! You hear me? Like, you know, the, the front door is- I know where my goddamn front door is. This is my motherfucking house, you understand me? Get your shit together. Bro, why he keep talking to me, though? Cause you little, nigga. Cause you little. Fuck on. Okay, good point. You, you, you are little, bro. You've been little all your life. So y'all co-signing that? Oh, it's nothing to co-sign, that's fine. You know what, I'm gonna clean my floor. Everybody just clean up before this crazy motherfucker. Yeah, go take a shower. Shut your ass up. What up, my beautiful family? I hope y'all are enjoying you hitting that season three. Um, as you guys know, the full episodes are on Judah, so go to the link in the description. Watch it right now, full episode. These are teasers that we're releasing, so don't be mad at me. Love me and support me, okay? And the movie is dropping October 11th, so go get your pre-sale. Cheap, over 50% discounted price right now. It's on you to go click the link right now. You'll see it, the post to everything you married that is right there, October 11th. Then it's regular price. So get your discount right now. And special announcement, we have some new content. It's called, it's a podcast and it's a dope, dope podcast with so many celebrities and influencers on there. It's called Eating While Broke. I actually did an episode on there and it's hosted by the lovely Colleen Witt. And our first episode right now is uh, the guest of the superstar Neo. Yeah, Judah got some superstars. You got Neo the scene. Yes, I said it. Look at that. I'm gonna put a little clip on here so y'all can see it. So look, we're building. So build with me, guys. All right. So click the link in the description. Support as we get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I want to do another cash giveaway soon too. So yeah. <clears throat> Again, get you married that C4 episode and watch the new for the subscribers, the new show to Judah. Hi, I'm Colleen Witt. Colleen Witt. Colleen Witt. I am Colleen Witt. You are now watching Eating While Broke. Today I have the lovely AJ Crimson, the official princess of Compton, Asia. Kidding, and Asia. This is the professor. We're here on Eating While Broke, and today I'm gonna break down 
my meal that got me through a time when I was broke. I ain't gonna eat syrup sandwiches. Pizza toast. Love the nacho cheese, pickles, barbecue chips, hot chips. Green onions, some hot dogs. I got this right here. I'm scared to know what is in it. Mm. This reminds me of being a kid. Yo, you could charge for this. You feeling that? This is like every fat kid's dream, man. <laughs> it don't matter how how much money you make, you can always go back to a bacon or hot dog. And it looks extremely affordable. Cheap. <laughs> this is the behind the scenes, and it's also real life to a lot of people. Do you ever look back, even just eating the sandwich, and say, I've come so far? I'm gonna be successful, or I'm just gonna be nothing, and I just sniff. Even when I'm tired, even when I feel like I'm broke down on some days, it's like, no. You need to get up, you gotta go out here and you gotta work so then you can provide for the kids. We all started from the bottom and yeah. come from nothing and I'd be at work holding t-shirts at a clothing store and they'd be like, can I get a picture with you? And I'd like look at my boss, I'm like, can I, can I take a picture with him? <laughs> my family was definitely broke. I got to a point where I was able to pay off my, my family's house. I wanted them to feel like they could take a break. There's certain things that I started to realize came from me just doing what I loved and what I had a passion for. Everyone would always be like, oh, you shoot those little videos and like da da da. I'm like, you'd be surprised. It's actually a full-time job. Once you accomplish one, you're going to go on to the next. Or if this one fails, you're going to go on to the next. There's no ceiling. My dad used to tell me, boy, you got rich taste and poor pockets. I love that I have rich taste, but now I can't have poor pockets. Eating while broke on a budget, but making it taste great. I'm the man. I got plans for the You think you're going to be able to keep two cousins from telling each other that they're married to you? Two assistants? Cousins. Yeah. You got one week. Oh, shit. What's that, homie? This is a fucking show. Ain't no star. Let's go! Hey, 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 just get along. This is the way. What's that fragrance? Wow. I need you back.